Democrats don't want you to know this, but walls work. If walls don't work, then why do we protect the White House with one? If walls don't work, then why does Nancy Pelosi have a large fortress outside of her house? If walls don't work, then why do we send foreign aid to help other nations build their own walls? The fact is that they do work, and even CNN's Jim Acosta would agree. This is a very safe community, and that they don't see migrants coming into their community causing a lot of crime and mayhem. There is no simple solution to the immigration crisis at our border, but why should we sit back and do absolutely nothing as millions of illegals bring crime and diseases into our country? How can we look at what's happening over in Europe as a result of open borders and think, gee, this is a good prescription for here in the United States? The fact is that we can't. And our republic is doomed if we sit back and let this invasion crumble our nation. The cost of a wall is high. There's no denying the $5 billion price tag placed on the wall is a lot of money, but in comparison to the $116 billion that United States taxpayers spend on illegal immigrants annually, it becomes a bit of a no-brainer that spending $5 billion to save taxpayers over $110 billion each year is a price worth paying. Open border proponents argue that it's immoral to build walls and restrict movement, but I contend that it's immoral to let your nation be overrun with violent third worlders that burden us with a $116 billion price tag and will vote to take away our freedoms. It's immoral to pretend that it's compassionate to give freebies to people on the taxpayer dime. Now I'll often see open border advocates try to say that while the wall is well intentioned, it won't actually work to stop illegal immigration since, you know, they'll just dig tunnels or swim or fly over the wall. But if we look at other nations that have actually built walls, such as Hungary and Israel, their statistics tell us a much different story. Hungary used to see tens of thousands of legal immigrants come over their border just a few years ago. But since erecting a wall, Hungary's illegal immigration problem has nearly evaporated. In the month prior to building a wall, 100,000 illegals poured over their borders. The next month, there were only 315 border crossings. In 2002, Israel began construction of their security fence after 484 Israelis were murdered by terrorists that year. The next year, after 112 miles of the fence were built, the number of Israelis killed by terrorists was cut in half. And just four years later, the number of Israelis killed by terrorists was reduced to just 14. The most telling part of these numbers is that Hamas has a very sophisticated network of tunnels that run underneath the Israeli border. And yet the security fence was still able to successfully reduce the number of Israelis murdered by terrorists by 97%. If that's not proof that walls work, then I don't really know what it is. What if we were able to reduce our illegal immigration problems in this country by 97%? President Trump said in his Oval Office address last week that 266,000 illegal immigrants with a criminal record are arrested each year, 4,000 of which commit violent murders. What if we were able to reduce those numbers to just 8,000 arrests and 120 murders? What if we were able to reduce their tax burden from $116 billion a year to just $3 billion? Seems like a pretty attainable goal. And what these numbers don't capture is how crafting the wall will also protect our founding culture and adoration of liberty. It's time to build the wall, secure our borders, and put America first. Walls work. If other nations can do it, then why can't we?